On your home screen, click on Activities in the top left corner of your screen. In the search bar, start typing Software and Updates. You should see the tool appear. The icon has a globe on it. Click on that icon to open it. When the tool launches, you will notice four tabs. Click on the Other Software tab. You will see a list in this tab. At the bottom, press the Add button. Now you need to input the third-party repository URL, like the format in the screen. Here, the deb keyword refers to the repository type. Then, you add the URL or link to that repository. After the URL, add the distribution name like Bullseye, Bookworm, or class like Stable Testing. Lastly, you add the type of component like main, contrib, non-free. This string is what Debian refers to as an APT line. In our example, we'll add the repository of Wine. Following the format, it will look like this. After you enter your APT line in the text box, press Add Source. You'll be asked to enter your password. Enter it and press Authenticate. And that should add the repository to your list. All the available repositories are listed in the Sources List file, which is located in the slash etcetry slash apt directory. First, let's open the file to see how things work. You can open the file in your preferred text editor. For this tutorial, we will work on the Nano Text Editor. To open the file in Nano, run the command in the screen. You must add your repository like the format show in the screen. If we want to add the repository of Wine in the file, for example, this is the line we need to add. Once done, save the file with the Ctrl plus O keyboard combination, then exit from the editor with Ctrl plus X. To make the changes take effect, Update the repository cache with this command. And the new repository should work now. This command can add third-party repositories as well as personal package archive, PPA, to the sources dont list file. The syntax is as follows. So now let's use this command to add our sample repository. When asked, press the Enter button to confirm. After adding the repository, you need to update the repository list for the changes to take effect. Update your system with this command. And that should add your target repository. If you want to remove a repository, you can add the remove flag for that in the command. Let's remove our added repository. See the command in the screen. That successfully removed the repository.